In this video, I want to talk about monitoring. So it's great to look at traces individually, but oftentimes you want to look at aggregate statistics to get a better overall sense of what's happening inside your application. And we've added a monitoring tab to enable exactly this. So I'm going to walk through this in Lingsmith, but I'm also going to highlight this documentation that we have here, and I'll link to it in the description below. So in Lingsmith, you can go into a project that you have. I'm going to go into chat LangChain, and these are runs that make up the chatbot over our documentation. I'm then going to click on this monitoring tab up here, and I'll see that I get these monitors of various statistics over time. And these are statistics that we find to be important when developing an LLM application. So here, this is just a basic count of, uh, of uh, traces over time and of LLM calls over time. So here, there's, you know, they correlate pretty heavily, but it's possible that I could, these could not be kind of like as closely correlated. I can also see the trace success rates over time. So I see that I had a slight dip here, but other than that, it's pretty good. I can also see latency over time. I can see uh, tokens per second. I can see feedback over time and so I track user score and we also track vagueness as well and so these are two different feedback measures that we can see over time. Tokens we track as well as cost and so we've really emphasized this for LLM specific features um, the, the above mentioned as well as things like streaming. Um, so how often streaming is used, time to first token um, and, and things like that. So this is great for getting an overview of what's happening in your application. You can also zoom in and out. So I can zoom out to a 30 day time period um, and see this a little bit more over time. I can also zoom in more closely. Um, and so here's what's happened in the last hour. Another thing that I can do is filter based on metadata or rather group based on metadata. I can do both. Um, so when I click on metadata, if I click LLM, I can basically then have these results grouped over time. And so what's going on under the hood is that in chat LangChain, we actually rotate between five different LLM providers, um, Anthropic, Cohere, Fireworks, Google, and OpenAI. And so I can track the various statistics within these groups. So this is really helpful for uh, basically changing parameters of your application and then tracking it uh, and seeing how it performs. Um, so some interesting things that I can see are basically trace success rates. So here, when we had this dip before, I can actually see that it was Cohere that was erroring a little bit and it caused some of, the, some of the errors. I can also track latency over time. So I can see right here that OpenAI and Fireworks seem to be the, the quickest ones to respond. I can also track feedback. So here it's a bit more mixed. Uh, we don't get a lot of feedback on chat LangChain, unfortunately, but you can track feedback over time and you can basically see how different parameters are performing. And so this is really cool for tracking uh, different aspects of, of your application. Um, and here we show off tracking different LLMs, but it can be other features as well. You can have different prompts that you rotate through and as long as you attach them as, as feedback, you can filter uh, and, and group based on them and get these monitoring charts. Uh, another thing that you can do is filter into these subsets really easily. So here I can see that I had this dip in success. Um, and so what I can do is this, this corresponds to an increase in error, all right? So if I go here, um, I can see that we had this spike here from Cohere to have a, a pretty high kind of like error rate. And so if I click on this data point, what this is going to do is this is going to actually give me all individual traces that are in this data point on the screen. So here I can see that I have all the ones with failure. And so here, if we check into chat go here, I can see that I got a timeout error. And so it's really useful for diving in to different subsets of the data and really focusing in on what's going wrong there. That's pretty much it for monitoring. Um, hopefully this shows you how you can use the monitoring dashboard to really track the performance of your application over time, as well as group different runs and track those different subsets over time, which can allow for some really interesting comparisons in, in an online setting. And I think that's important because oftentimes you can do a bunch of tests and we have, we have a great kind of like testing framework as well, but that's mostly offline. And it often changes when you put things in production, people use it in ways that you don't expect. And so being able to track that performance in an online manner is super important. And so these are some of the features that we've added to enable exactly that.